this is Joanna Stern of Laptop Magazine, and today I'm looking at a new ASUS EPC. This is the ASUS EPC 1005HA. We looked at the 1008HA a few weeks ago. This one is a little bit cheaper. It has the same exact spec, but has a longer battery life, and we're going to take you through it right now. The ASUS EPC 1005HA has a very similar build to the 1008HA, but it's not as slim, uh, and we're going to show you right now just a little bit around the ports, but it has a nice black glossy lid, um, very prone to fingerprints as you can see here, so uh, you want to keep that cloth handy, though we just wish that they would come up with a way for fingerprints not to attract to the lid. But we'll take you around the ports now, um, and one thing about the 1008HA, which is their seashell design, uh, that's the previous version, it was very thin and you didn't have a full VGA port. So here you've got a full VGA, not a mini one, and not an adapter on the bottom, so uh, some people may prefer that outward VGA, easy access, you've got that here. You've got one USB on this left hand side, around the front you've got no ports, and then on this hand side you've got a 3-in-1 card reader, a mic and a headphone jack, two additional USBs which are actually bringing a total of three and there were only two on the previous version and an Ethernet port here and on the back as you can see uh, there's a six cell battery um, which is actually quite flush with the system and we will give you some details on the battery life later. So under the lid you're greeted by a 10 inch display which uh, is typical of our ASUS EPCs and most netbooks on the market now. Uh, and just talk about the keyboard here real quick. You've got the same keyboard on the 1005HA here as you've had on the 1008HA uh, and where ASUS has really improved its keyboard design is by its full shift key for a long period of time. We were really frustrated by that small shift key. So you've got that full shift key. Uh, the keys are a bit flat but that's not a deal breaker for us. Definitely uh, decent typing times. We prefer the keyboard still on the Toshiba NB205 which is an island style keyboard uh, but again nice key feel and uh, decent typing times for touch typists. And just down to the trackpad here, um, this is the same thing we've seen on the previous EPC 1008HA. You've got a trackpad that's absolutely flush with the deck. Uh, the only thing that allows you to notice that there's a difference is these uh, small dots on the trackpad themselves, kind of braille-like feeling. And you've got a single mouse bar. Would have wished for a right and a left click button, but the uh, response on the bar is actually quite good and not too loud uh, when clicking around the desktop. On the insides of the ASUS EPC 1005HA, ASUS has kept all the same specs that they've been using with the past few netbooks they've actually brought to market. You've got an Intel Atom processor, the N280, which runs at a 1.66 gigahertz clock speed, one gigabyte of RAM, and a 160 gigabyte hard drive, which boots into Windows XP here. Uh, pretty standard performance. Um, one thing we do like is that ASUS added this software bar uh, to the XP desktop that brings you to some of their proprietary software including sync syncable software with other netbooks and other EPCs as well as online storage and a few multimedia uh, programs. Where this EPC really stands out and, and differs from other EPCs on the market and as well as many other netbooks is in terms of battery life. And this is actually the run, longest running netbook we've had in our labs to date. It got shy of nine hours of battery life. Uh, Toshiba NB205 got uh, just a little bit shorter than that a few weeks ago. Uh, but really a really nice package in terms of the battery life, especially given that the battery doesn't protrude much from the system. This is a look at the ASUS EPC 1005HA with over 8 hours of battery life, a nice build, and a price point of $389. We definitely think it's one of the best netbooks on the market. We still prefer the Toshiba NB205, but it's a solid entry here from ASUS. This is Joanna Stern from Laptop Magazine.